All right, did you hear this? You got a top Democrat saying the IRS scandal is over. Based upon everything I've seen, the case is solved. And if it were me, uh, I would wrap this case up and move on, to be frank with you. Sounds good. <laughs> Ken Cuccinelli is the Attorney General for Virginia and a candidate for governor, and I think he might disagree with that statement. Uh, good morning to you, sir. You know, I'm not sure there's anybody else in America other than the congressman who thinks this is over and solved. Um, you, you know, we're, we're, we're a freedom-based country, and we're seeing an agency that is really attacking those principles, and it's one that most Americans fear more than any other. It's the IRS. So I don't think this is anywhere near solved. There are a lot of unanswered questions, and frankly, more of them are arising than being answered. Mm -hmm. So I think we have a long way to go in this, and if for nothing else, to establish trust on the part of the American people um, in, that, that the IRS at least does its job objectively, and fairly, they treat everybody the same, and the evidence of right now is quite to the contrary. Yeah, and this morning we've been talking about trust regarding the NSA thing. You don't really trust the IRS because they owe your Commonwealth of Virginia 125 million bucks. They know they owe you, and yet they haven't paid you. Yeah, they sat on. We 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 solved the largest healthcare fraud case ever investigated by a state. The IRS did a small part of the investigation with us. We carried the investigation. And part of the result of that billion and a half dollar case is a large asset forfeiture, which comes from the criminal defendant and is supposed to come to Virginia. It's $115 million. And it should have long ago been here. Uh, frankly, the interest alone on this, on this money, which is set aside for law enforcement, could have bought a thousand bulletproof vests for mm -hmm. police officers and deputies in Virginia. And they still have not sent the money. What's their and, excuse? Uh, and there's really no, they, they haven't really given us one. The excuse we got from the Department of the Treasury was that IRS wasn't doing their paperwork. Well, as, as soon as we made Great. that complaint last week, Treasury gave us a number, but they're still holding up the money and they're adding new rules that we've never seen before. Uh -huh. For asset forfeiture well, money, and we you, have a darn good record. Could it be, Ken, because you opposed Obamacare? Uh, well, and have sued their EPA successfully, and and have done other things contrary to this administration. You know, most people focus on the IRS as it relates to the Tea Party, but a week or two ago, we also heard about their additional scrutiny for Jewish nonprofit groups that were taking a tack that was contrary to the uh, Obama administration's. Israel policy and uh, so when 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 you see those of us on the other side of their policies and and this administration uh, they we we're the ones who keep popping up mm -hmm. having uh, trouble one way or another right. ours was passively from the IRS so uh, th those those are why we have more questions than answers about the IRS and it's why Congressman Cummings was wrong. There's a lot more yet to yeah, look at here. Right, absolutely. And uh, at the very least, there, there's so many questions and there's a lot of loose ends. We don't know where it's going to lead, but we know we have to find out. You're a tough attorney general right. for Virginia. Now you want to be the next governor. Ken Cuccinelli, thanks so much for joining us. Good to be with you all.